CCL TV Live. I'm Danielle Scruggs. Now joining me in the studio is Erin Walsh of Solution, here to tell us a little bit about the Rock and Roll Marathon. Hi, Erin. Hi, Danielle. Can you tell us a little bit about Solutia? Sure, Solution is a global company. We're headquartered right here in St. Louis, so we have some of the best and brightest minds right here in our backyard. But we also have a deep commitment to taking care of sort of the rest of the person, the whole body, the health and wellness of a person, and also the giving back. And so when the Rock and Roll Marathon was planning to come to St. Louis, we realized that they shared those values. So what we did was we decided to partner up with them and we're now the title sponsor of the Solutia Rock and Roll St. Louis Marathon, which is okay. gonna make history this weekend being the first rock and roll marathon here in St. Louis. Okay, and you became the title sponsor, so are you benefiting a certain charity? We are, we are. We're actually, the whole race benefits team activities for special kids, which is short, goes, for, goes by task. Um, team activities for special kids provide safe, accessible fields and activities for children in the St. Louis area who have special needs. So what we've done is we've gathered a group of employees and supporters from all over the world. Many are from St. Louis, but we have people from 12 different countries mm -hmm. coming into St. Louis. They've raised a lot of money for team activities for special kids, and then they're going to run the race with a group called the Solution Task Force. Okay, and how many people are going to be running this race, or approximately? We've got more than 21,000 folks coming in to run the race. It's a sold out crowd, but don't let that stop you from coming down. We've got lots of great things in store. Okay, and is the event open to the public or? It's free and open to the public. It's a three day, 26.2 mile rock and roll party. So we've got a number of free, fun, family friendly events. First one is the uh, Expo, Health and Fitness Expo. That's Friday and Saturday at the America's Center downtown. Um, that's a great place to get information about the race, but also health and fitness information merchandise, food. If you want to be involved in what's going on downtown this weekend, that's a great place to start. Okay, now for those of us that don't know about a half marathon, can you just explain what a half marathon is? Sure, a marathon is 26.2 miles, half marathon is 13.1 miles, okay. and it's actually much more popular than the marathon. So most of the participants in this inaugural race are participating in the half marathon. So okay. it's a great way to get in shape, it's a great way to get active. We've got a number of teams, both from Solutia and other organizations and companies all over St. Louis that have gotten together to raise money and um, walk or run 13.1 miles. 13.1 miles. And so they'll be running uh, from downtown in St. Louis or where, where, where's the starting location? Correct. The race starts at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday and starts downtown. It's a new race. It's never before been raced. It was designed by an Olympian, Alan Culpepper, who's an Olympic distance runner, designed it to show off all of the sort of hidden treasures and also some of the better known uh, monuments in St. Louis. So it'll be a great time. The great thing about the Rock and Roll Marathon or the Solution St. Louis Rock and Roll Marathon is there's a band at every mile. So oh. to keep everyone on their toes. Um, band at every mile, there's cheerleaders at every mile, there's 2,000 volunteers handing out water and um, just making sure that everyone is having a good time. So it's fun not just for the runners but also for the folks that come down. One of the best parts about the race is the Finish Line concert. We've got a Finish Line festival, food, bands, fun, and then it's all headlined by a concert uh, featuring Sugar Ray. So that should be a great time for everyone. Okay, so Sugar Ray, they're, they're going to headline Sunday at what time? Uh, Sunday about 11, 11.30. Okay, and do you have a website that, it, that everyone can look to to get some more information? We do. It's uh, www.runrockandroll.com. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we're going to focus on the race itself once we get back from taking a break. Um, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We've got more with Aaron Walsh after this. And remember, to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis, friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. We'll be right back with more after this.